All right, I am Steve Mead, and I am a foundry artist here in Caroline County at the Caroline County Council of Arts. Today we're going to learn how to stretch your own canvases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to stretch your own canvas with materials that can all be found in Caroline County, Maryland. So there's not an art store anywhere nearby. There's one that's about 75 miles away in Silver Spring, and you know, I'd like to show you how to make it on your own if you don't want to cross the bridge, if it's something that you can do um, by yourself. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a few things. There's going to be some tools that you're going to need for this demonstration. So what I did is I'm making a stretcher bar out of a 2x4. So this 2x4 I got out of the uh, dumpster. It was actually on a pallet, just meant to hold some stuff. You can also buy a 2x4 at Chop Tank Supply. It costs you about $5 because lumber is pretty expensive right now. And with one one regular 2x4, you can make 8 12x12 12 12 paintings. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So the nice thing about uh, making your own canvas, you can do it much more affordably than you can by buying them. So I looked up online, if we were to buy 43 12-inch 12 by 12-inch 12 canvases, it would cost about $447. So one of the things that we have here is I bought a drop cloth that is six feet by nine feet and it was ten dollars and I just got this at Walmart this is just meant for somebody who's painting putting it on the ground this is perfectly good and acceptable material to paint on if you're going to make your own canvases and um, so I figured out the cost if we were to make 43 of our own canvases with just wood that we bought at um, a chop tank supply paint, screws, all these different items, it would only cost you $64. If you're able to find the two by fours, if you know somebody in construction that can give them to you, then you can actually build all these canvases for about $30. So it's actually a pretty good deal. Okay, so one of the things that I did, so the first thing, you're gonna need some tools in order to do this though. So it's not really something that you can do without certain power tools, things that you might need. So the first thing that you're gonna need is your two by four. So what I did is I set the two by four on the table saw and I cut it into three quarter inch strips. So that's what I did. So I ran it on the table saw, I cut the strips and I cut a bunch of these. And then based on that, I cut the other sizes uh, to meet the requirements of the canvas. So what I have here um, is the after effect of stretching those pieces. And we'll show you how to put this together in a moment, but that gives you an idea of the first step. The other tools that you'll need, you'll need a drill. And this has a special bit, a countersink bit, and uh, it has a little drill bit at the top, which starts it. And then this other part right here is what creates a hole where the top of the screw head goes in, and then you don't see it through the canvas, which is really nice. You're gonna need a staple gun. I generally like the JT21. It's a lightweight staple gun, and I particularly like this one. It, it works very well. It's, um, the staples go in very easily. You don't have a lot of things where they bounce back at you. So you can also get a heavy duty staple gun, but I have more problems with these and the staples bouncing back, and it's not necessary for what we're doing, okay? So you can buy this staple gun at Walmart also in Denton. Um, and also chop tank supply. And then there's lightweight uh, staples. So you're gonna use these, they're 3 eighths of an inch, and that's what you're gonna to use to staple the canvas down, okay? Other things that you'll need, tape measure, to measure different parts of uh, what we're doing and also to cut these pieces. I didn't show you cutting these on the table saw today because um, I didn't have that uh, equipment available here. You're gonna need a paintbrush, Typically a three inch paintbrush or two and a half inch paintbrush would be fine. Any old one will work. It does not need to be perfect. It does not need to be a purdy or one of these really expensive paintbrushes. Just something to get the paint on the canvas. Okay? You're gonna need some screws. So you have uh, one and a quarter inch screws, which are gonna be used for one part of the canvas, which I'll get to in the next video. And then you're gonna need one and five eighths inch screws. One and a half will work. I'm just using drywall screws because that's what I had available. It does not matter. You could use deck screws, you could use 
drywall screws, anything. It does not matter for this, um, this type of demonstration and this kind of canvas. So, and all this stuff can be found at Chop Tank Supply or Walmart. So you can get all of these things locally. The last thing, I went to the store and I bought this in Silver Spring at the art store, which is gesso. This is what you're supposed to use for a canvas if you're doing something that's archival and it's going to last a really long time. But this is not always available. You can't always order it online or you can't always uh, go there and pick it up. If you order it online, it's about $27 for a gallon. And, but you can also do just as, just as well with glidden ceiling paint, which you can also get at Walmart. Just get a flat finish ceiling paint. That'll work perfectly fine for um, stretching your canvas and getting everything to work. And that would just be an acrylic latex. So, and the last couple things you'll need, you'll need scissors and a couple tools I brought which are not necessary but that will help your installation a little bit. Um, a rafter square, which would be nice, just it's a little bit dirty, but rafter square that will be used to make sure your corners are straight. And I also bought some clamps. So these are just able to hold the piece together and make sure everything is nice and flat. And of course you'll want a flat surface like a table or the ground. You could do, you could build this on a garage floor. You could build it in a lot of different spots. So but just a nice level surface. Okay.